our solar system can be found in the Milky Way galaxy. Here we can find all of our neighbouring planets along with many moons and asteroids. But just outside our solar system are more planets and stars than the night sky. Hundreds of thousands of planets have been discovered in the Milky Way galaxy, and it's anyone's guess as to what's on them. Incredibly though, the Milky Way galaxy is only one of billions of galaxies out there, so astronomers have estimated there's over a septillion planets out there. Our planet is rather insignificant when you compare it to the vastness of the universe. One thing we do know quite about though is our neighbouring planets. One of these is Uranus. It's the seventh planet from our sun and the third largest in our solar system, having a diameter of 50,724 kilometres, or 31,518 miles. Over the years researchers have been able to find out that Uranus is a very cold and windy planet. It has faint rings and 27 moons that currently rotate around the planet. Uranus was discovered back in 1781. However, back then it was thought to be a star or a comet. It turns out it was in fact a planet, and it was named after the Greek god of the sky. Recently, a strange heat wave has begun to warm up the rings around Uranus, and this has allowed scientists to capture some heat images via two powerful telescopes in Chile. The current temperature of the rings is minus 195 degrees, and although this is still cold, it's much warmer than usual. Most of the area around Uranus is minus 460 degrees. However, as of right now, NASA scientists can't figure out why the rings have suddenly warmed up. A UC Berkeley professor of astronomy said the following about the recent discovery. Saturn's mainly icy rings are broad, bright and have a range of particle sizes, from micron-sized dust in the innermost D-ring to tens of meters in size in the main rings. The small ends is missing in the main rings of Uranus. The brightest ring epsilon is composed of golf ball size and larger rocks. Another researcher went on to say the following. We already know the epsilon ring is a bit weird because we don't see the smaller stuff. Something has been sweeping the smaller stuff out, or it's all glooming together. We just don't know. This is a step forward to understanding their composition, and whether all the rings came from the same material source, or are different for each ring. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.